hello everyone welcome to the new video of mainframe in this video i am going to explain the process of mainframe installation in your local system in previous video i have explained already like how can you use mainframe in your local system free of cost but some user are getting error like even not able to log in into the mainframe using the correct credential uh, or some user are not able to perform such operations in the mainframe i also tried to do some operations in mainframe so also i am being stuck somewhere so i uh, founded the error what was that was a emulator error like 3270 emulator uh, is not running fine with hercules i think because of that we are getting error or not able to log in into the mainframe so uh, before going further in this video i explain you what we previously installed that was uh, MVS turnkey it is a combination of uh, Hercules mainframe and operating system that is VS2 so if you install turnkey you don't need to install separately Hercules and the operating system of mainframe VS2 and the emulator in previous video I have explained that you can use free emulator that is 3270 uh, terminal emulator but uh, for using this terminal we are not able to use some operations using this terminal so in this video i am going to replace that uh, terminal and going to install uh, another terminal that is mtech zoc terminal there are many more terminal like you can install mocha vista iricon some of are paid and some of are free of cost so uh, if you use uh, mocha or vista it is free of cost for one month only after the trial version ended you will have to pay for that and uh, so in this video we are going to install only the terminal and i am going to explain how can we connect the terminal into the hercules mainframe so if you haven't installed it uh, hercules uh, mainframe in the operating system vs2 that is a uh, turnkey 11 mvs turnkey uh, i will put the link in the i button you can go through that video and after that you will you will able to install the hercules op uh, mainframe and the operating system and in this video i am going to explain how can you install the terminal mtech zoc and how can you connect that for mtech zoc terminal uh, just come on this portal i will ping the link in the description of this video or even you can just do google and you will become here that is mtech.com uh, slice download you will be here and zoc terminal is available for both uh, environment like if you are using windows or mac you can download uh, for both like uh, i am using the windows right now so i have downloaded it already i show you uh, here you can see I have downloaded it. It is a prox 6 point something like a prox 7 MB of size after the download this uh, exe file uh, just run as administrator I have done it already and create a shortcut icon for this software. So I have done that uh, uh, already so just double click on this and you will be able to see a quick connection here if this pop-up is not coming on the screen so what you can do just click on the file and click on the quick connection so you will be here on this pop-up uh, before that just keep in mind that your mainframe is running fine like i show you you can see my mainframe that is turnkey is running fine you can see now it is running fine and if i am going to connect i will able to connect this mainframe using the terminal so for terminal uh, connection connection type will be local host so just give here the local host and the port number will be 3270 and the session profile will be a standard zoc don't need to edit something or even you don't need to map your keys with this terminal it is already mapped so you don't need to do that as well and the connection type will be telnet and the emulation type will be 3 tn3270 and just click on connect and now you can see hercules now you can see tk4 it is connected and updated it is 8 version i am using mainframe so just give enter and input not recognized so give here log in 
sorry re enter okay enter the user id so e for hercules user id is h e r c 0 1 that is a user id and password is c u later c u l 8 t r enter so welcome to the tso system and now another bit of wisdom for fortune okay now you can see we are in the main frame uh, for main menu give here the two options and you can see all the options are available here so using this terminal uh, it is working fine as of now i have been using this since last week so for this now it is working fine like you can perform all the operations of jcl and the uh, ps file pds file if you want to create do some operation using cobol you, you can do with this terminal and the mainframe is uh, tk that is turn key 4 it is updated version so for this video uh, i think it is the end of this video in the another video to see all the uh, menu which is available in this main frame and the options how can we use we will see thanks for watching uh, see you in the next video